Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome and very unique front living room floor plan from Grand Design. And this is a floor plan that I have never seen before. This is a 2021 Grand Design Solitude model 346 FLS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Grand Design and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every RV that we review. And again today I am super excited to be taking a look at this very unique front living room floor plan. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. We are here in Virginia. Yes. Um, it's chilly today though. Cold. It, it sure is. But anyways, we're trying something new starting today. For the next week, we'll put out a video every other day like we do on the Motorhome channel. Yes. Um, it'll be a little bit more in depth though, or a little more thorough. So yes. let us know what you guys think. Yep. Leave down in the comments below. And Will, what better one to start with than this one? Absolutely. Because this one's really exciting. Will, let's begin. Model is 346 FLS, Solitude. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 37 feet, 11 inches. The dry weight is 14,166 pounds. And will the hitch weight? 3,096 pounds. Perfect, remember folks, it's not necessarily about how much you can tow, it's about that pin weight of your truck being able to support it. Right up front here, we have a nice, beautiful painted fiberglass front cap, Solitude, nice big windshield. Right? It's not to be confused with the Solitude S class right there. And so here's some of the differences. Look at that pin box right there to look at this pin box right here. This has the nice Moride pin box. Very nice, extra support. It's the Grand Touring package. So it's gonna be a lot better towing experience, right? Yep, a lot smoother, less chucking. Yes. Coming down the side here, we do have storage right here and you can see that the cutouts, that it is prepped for a generator. Very nice. Right here is your propane tanks. Also, as you can see here, it does have six point hydraulic auto leveling. Very nice. And then here we have the fiberglass doors. Little bit of storage there. Definitely a little bit, not much but there's a centralized vacuum there, battery disconnect, and a light switch that does have the motion for you. All right. Okay, no awning right there, but they did put the awning right here on the slide out. Frameless windows, that's another upgrade from a Solitude to the S-Class right there. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. No frameless windows. And then, oh, this is a little unique. Okay, this is so exciting. This floor plan's brand new, and it couldn't have come out if it wasn't for more ride and limper components. I don't know who made the solid steps first, but kudos to both of them, because you would need the stairwell. Well, this stair opening is above the uh, wheel wells, so it wouldn't have been possible without that. And these three are the hydraulic assisted steps. Very, very nice feature. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Coopers, the Work Series. I love those. They are the uh, 215-75R17.5. And you have the Moride CRE 3000 suspension. Three year structural warranty. And then right there, dump, dump, fully laminated walls. Very nice. Also, this has the WeatherTech Arctic insulation package, which means it's four seasons. Coming on down the side here, we have power, okay? It's a little spray port if you need like a little rinse off or whatever. Nice big power awning. Speakers on the outside here. And then this, wow. You have a place to hook up the satellite right there. Wow, this really does make up for that front storage. Sure does. Coming around the back, wow, look at this. Nice Mori tray slide out very nice feature right there okay we do it is prepped 
for a Furion backup camera. And we do have a, an affiliate link down below if you need a Furion backup camera. 3,000 pound hitch with the four pin connector. So yes, technically you can tow behind this. We don't recommend that though. Um, we never recommend towing anything behind a fifth wheel. And then Will, guess what? What? We're going up on the roof? There is a ladder. To get up, hang on. <laughs> to get up on the one piece TPO roof, Will? Let's go up there and take a look. All right, it's a big step though. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> you need a boost? Hang on. We're gonna record this. This okay. Matt's Arvieri's history right here, folks. Is he on the front seat right now? Yeah. Help me up, Will. Are you ready? Hang on, I wanna make sure my butt don't show. Okay. Don't you want it the other way? You good? No, one, one, two, two three. <sighs> <laughs> Thanks, Will. Let's go up there and take a look. Need to lay off the chicken tenders. <laughs> <laughs> Up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one-piece TPO roof. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five big slide outs right there. You do have your max air fans right there. Fully walkable roof. Wine guard digital antenna. And then not one, but there is two air conditioning units. I love that. Here we go now. Be careful. Here we go. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What did our RV salesman's goal take? Makes friend. Give him a boost to climb up. Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Thank you, Will. You're welcome. Finishing up over here. Very nice. More storage and more storage. It's just incredible and awesome. Oh, wow. Okay. No 50 amp power cord reel. Yeah, right there. Oh, is that power though? Oh, um, oh it, it looks power. like it. Yeah, it is, yeah. Hang it's just on. not Watch on it. Head. <sighs> Such they a cool themselves. feature. Black and gray tank dump valves. Enclosed. Again, yeah. part of that cold weather package. Right underneath there, that's where you're dumping your black and gray tank. I think we forgot to say as well six point hydraulic, or do we say that? We said it, we okay. said it, it's okay. And then right here is your 50 amp power cord, water heater and everything. Mm. Mm -mm. Finishing up. Here is your wet bay, beautiful. City water connection, black tank flush, potable water fill, potable, potable. Uh, connection, satellite connection, and everything. And then wrapping it all up right here is your uh, propane tanks. Well, well, the outside of the solitude looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Should I start in the back or? Yeah, go to the left. Okay. We do want to point out when the slide outs are closed, you can get to this bathroom here. Yes. And you cannot get to the refrigerator. Okay. All right, so bedroom back here. Yep. Bathroom here. The kitchen and dining area in the middle. And? The living space up here, starting up here. Amazing. And before we start, Will, yeah. I want to take a quick second, y'all, to thank our sponsor, My Waggle. Now, if you guys watch our show on the Motorized channel, you've seen My Waggle before. What My Waggle is, it's an RV pet digital thermostat. And it's important to have in a motorhome, but it's, it's even more important to have in a fifth wheel or travel trailer. Here's why. If you go camping with your pets, you can't bring them to every restaurant with you or every beach with you. So what do you do? You leave them inside the RV. If it gets too hot or too cold, or if your RV loses power, it will send you a notification. The best part about it is it's not doing it via the app, via Wi-Fi. 
it's doing it via email and text message. So it doesn't matter where you are, it will be able to notify you to let you know, hey, dinner's over, we gotta go get Tucker. Or it lets you know that you lost power, it's getting hot in there, and you call the campground to let them know to go inside your RV to get your pet out before it gets too hot. It's such an important tool to have, and the reason why it's even more important to have it if you have a fifth wheel or travel trailer is because you do not have a generator and you don't have auto gen start to put the AC units back on. So Will, what I'm trying to say is, if you have a pet and you bring them camping with you, what do they need to do? They need to buy the My Waggle. Yep, we have a, they partnered with Matt's RV Reviews. They have a cut, we have a custom link below. All you gotta do is click that link and you'll get a huge discount. That's right. Will, let's start up here. All right. And if you would, can you stand at the steps right there? Okay. Look at what's going on right here. Will. Totally different, huh? Totally, it's, <laughs> hey, it's the same, but right. different. Right, exactly. You know? I mean, it's just your front living, yes. but it's interesting. This is the same. This is different, right. and I really think I like that. So, like, check it out. I do like having the view and everything. Yes. But, right? But you, this way you always have the view. Right. Whereas the view goes away when the TV's up, okay? So we're going to get started right here. Okay. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. You will never never used more thorough, huh, Will? <laughs> so I'm going to pull out this one. Okay. Just so everybody can see, this is a sleeping machine. Bam, long tri-cushion pull-out sofa. What's even better is, that one does the exact same thing on that side. We have three windows in the slide-outs, and they all have their privacy shades as well. Very nice feature. And then to put it back up. Super easy. Super quick and easy, and let me tell you, it's a lot more comfortable than the jackknife. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Okay, that and that, and then over here, again, same on that side, and then over here is the theater seats. First, funny cabinetry, nice end table, power, USB, light buttons right there. Same on that side. Oh yeah, look at this. Nice theater seat with a cup holder, and the best part about it, it is facing directly across from where the TV is. You see the button? No. Is it in here? There it is. So look, when it's down, then it's down. Right here you have your Bluetooth player. You have a USB for a cell phone. The reason why this is a piece of glass is so you can control your remote that way. Also, you have the InnoFlame Inno Flame fireplace, which does produce heat from electricity, which is nice. And how much headspace do you have? Well, put it in selfie mode. Pretty good amount of headspace here. Yeah, I you mean, know, Will, for a front living. Will is six foot three. Yeah. And then look at that. I love that feature. And it's just super, super duper nice. And then you even have speakers right here. Nice. Coming on down the side here. Down, down on in. You have a nice dinette. Is this more space or less space or the same space? Looks like more space. It does to look me. like a little bit more. Very nice. Nice solid foundations for the chairs. No carpet, which I love, which is a flush floor. And then look at this. Also, it looks like this motorhome is prepped for the third air conditioning unit okay and you'd be able to run all three at one time you know up here we're in the virginia store so they're not going to option it with the third but you can get that and it's a 101 inch wide body nice big windows and everything and you got your spare chairs here and this is just a really nice dinette cool well well it's now time for the msrp burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this fifth wheel here is 
$106,440 MSRP. Sale price, can you see the sale price there, Will? I cannot. No, because it's a 2021 and we're not allowed to advertise sale price. But, Will, I know it definitely won't be anywhere near that price. And we sell more Grand Designs than probably anybody. Will, if somebody wants to buy a Grand Design, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send us an email. But the best thing to do is to go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, not a problem. Click tab number two. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get back to you ASAP. No, <laughs> no, that's number one. Number two, if you have questions, that sends an email to both Will and myself <laughs> and we will get back to you ASAP. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter what tab anybody clicks. What's the one thing that every tab has in common? They're going to get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. Sounds good. So they kind of, they were kind of innovative with this kitchen as well. Yeah. Um, I'll start over here, but front living kitchens tend to be a little bit tight as well. Uh-huh. Uh, you got a little bit of storage up top here. Nice glass front storage here. A little space for your keys. Yep. Um, and Max Air Fan controls right there storage up top here very nice and then same thing with the glass over here and, and hang on a second is that all lit up in there it is yes wow so it's lit up inside on the, the sides yep. i like that all the way up which is really nice and then you have a nice regular oh. microwave yep, yep that's not a convection here i love this backsplash they did nice real tile i think um and then I love these full, uh, these uh, residential size or like apartment size um, ovens and ranges here. Nice four burner insignia. Man, well, that's been turkey tested. And that sure has turkey approved. Yes, sir. A little bit of storage here with some drawers. Right there. And then over here. Oh, Ooh, that's $204 trash cans. That's right. For a total of 208 Thanks, y'all. All right, right behind me is a nice pantry. Wow. Plenty of space there, and what do we have? Four drawers there. I like how they're including these drawers. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, snap, and that um, top part was adjustable. Yes, all this is adjustable. Here. Wow, very nice. Yep. Got some storage here. Those are adjustable as well. Yes, sir. And then a um, two-way RV fridge here works off of pro yeah, propane or electric. And you can option that with the residential, right? Yes. Yep. And the fridge down below. So it looks like you can access the freezer with the slides in, but I don't think you could get either of these doors open. Correct. So. Correct. Um, right behind me, got a little bit like, almost like another pantry there. That's cool. I didn't notice that at first, but there's like a mirror when the yeah. TV comes up. And then I love that they did this little flip up coffee bar here too. Yeah. Just something, you know, if you want to put it down, you can. Yep, for sure. And then nice little wood, I guess you call it like a backsplash there. Yep, what about down there? Oh, I missed that. Put this down. Then we got six drawers down here as well. Very nice. And then here, a nice um, island. So throughout the whole kitchen, it's all solid surface countertops. Yes. Even this flip up here, which is nice, and that one there. Nice little spray faucet and uh, solid surface inserts as well. Oh, Two bowl sink. sink. Yep. And then right below that, a little bit more storage. Very nice. Will. Yeah. I like the light fixtures. Yeah. It's now time for the tall test. All right. So for those of you guys that don't know, William is a staggering six foot three tall. He is the biggest man in the RV industry. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> Ah, oh, you see that step down? Yeah. Look at that. Tons and tons Great. of headspace. Yep, I like this too. A little bit different. Oh, three spray spots. Where's the third? Oh, right there. Well, really four. You have one, one two, two, three, three and, and four. that. Very and then this nice. This is a single um, 
teak seat? I mean, yeah, a teak seat, but then a um, full like uh, fiberglass surround. Will, it passes shower test. Yep, bing. Very nice. And then over here, you have a nice medicine cabinet right there. Again, solid surface countertops throughout. Very nice sink. Drawers and storage. Let me get this bottom one. And then notice what's going on with these yeah. handles. Pretty neat. Yeah, <laughs> that's neat. It's now time for the toilet test. Porcelain. Doesn't get much better, huh? <sighs> Does not get much better than this. Bing! This is a prime pooping position. Perfect. Finishing up, we do have two entries to the master bedroom. Okay. Very big. Right here. Washer dryer prep. Prep for the stackable washer and dryer. Nice. Got your TV here. A little bit of hidden storage there. Okay. Storage. And storage. Okay. Very nice. And then over here, we got even more storage. Mm. Right? Very yep. nice. And deep over there. And then we have drawers two and three. And then it's now time for the long test. All right. Demonstrate that for all the men out there, Will. <laughs> nice big bed here. Six foot three. He still has plenty yep. of space. Good Very nice headboard. And I like how all three windows are all around it. Yeah. Well, Will. That's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Yeah. Do you have it's gonna any? It's going to be tough. I didn't find any, really. I think I have one. Is it inside or outside? Outside. Okay. I might have one outside as well. I can cut. Oh, I got it. I got okay. one. I got one. So, I'm going to say this, Will. And this is nice. I'm going to say that in in normal RVs, you normally see a lot more space on this kitchen island. Mm -hmm. This kitchen island is awfully small relative to other kitchen islands. And don't get me wrong. It's nice you got all that space there. It's nice that you have this here. And But, you know, it's just, you know, th this RV is made very well. So I had to find this like. That's definitely my number one. Right. Number two. Okay. Outside. If that's where your number two is. I kind of have to look to confirm, but yeah, I kind of wish that they did something different with this awning. Yeah. It's just kind of weird, just that small slide. Yep. Um, I mean, ideally they would have brought it all the way to the front. I don't know if they could have done that, but at least like as far over as they, as they can. For sure, for yeah. sure, definitely. And then number three, well, number three, a third dislike. Um, I'm going to combo it with the silly tie downs for the closet doors. Right that I'm always gonna rip off, but that's not good enough. I'm actually gonna combo it with this. This front storage is slim to none. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, it just is what it is. We and can't- it's kind of weird, awkward. Correct. It's just weird and awkward and small, and it just is what it is. But that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. And to counter fight that, that's no big deal. You know why, Will? Because we have all, my first thing I love about this motorhome is all of this storage in here. This is incredible. It's awesome. It's nice. I love the slam latch doors and I love everything that they included in this. That's number one. Number two. All right. Inside. I'm just going to, well, am I going to steal yours? No. Okay. I'm just going to say really like the whole combo with this kitchen and front living area. I love how nice it is that um, you, even with the TV up, you still have like a good view if there is if there is a view. Yep. You can still see out the window. Yep. And also that like everybody isn't facing away from the kitchen. I mean, kitchen is kind of known as a place to like where everybody hangs out, you know, you're right. Food, so it makes a, drinks. It, it makes a big, big oval open circle area, not yeah. a circle, not like open, not a social circle. circle, but a s social yeah, oval. Just like keeping everybody, you know, it's easier to talk when you're facing yeah, somebody exactly. rather than having your back to them. I really, really like that. That's yeah. really good. Okay. So that's number two. And then okay. I do have a number three. Whoops. I think. 
Do you have a third? Um, I'm sure I can come up with them. <laughs> no, we're gonna say the shower. Okay. The shower was great, y'all. It was. The fact that it dipped down a little bit to kind of make like a little tub. And it's not like huge, no, but it feels good. Yeah. yeah. And then to have all those shower heads, a real, a real residential feel in the shower. Yeah. It's super awesome and nice. And again, just taking it up a level, making it a really nice shower. Yep. Well, everyone, that's it. That's the review. That's the solitude. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this fifth wheel, please call us, text us, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're in the market for a fifth wheel like this, uh, in a few seconds, you're gonna see its competitors right there and there. Will, is there anything you want to say? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike, but also let us know if you liked this layout a little bit better of doing a video every other day, but a little more thorough. Yes, a little bit more in detail. Exactly. Um, also, make sure to uh, grab the My Waggle if you are uh, camping with a pet. Yes. I would consider this one of like an essential item, one of the basics to get you camping. Yes. You certainly don't want anything to happen to your pets. And listen, if you bring your pets with you 24 seven, don't get it. Right. And if you don't have pets, don't get it. But right. if you sometimes leave them in the camper, it is a must have for your pets. Exactly. And again, they've partnered with Matt's RV Reviews. We got custom links below. All you gotta do is click the link and you'll automatically get the promo code. Exactly. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.